welcome back today i don't know if any of you can recognize but i am back in akusi again honestly the last video i did on this place was the the comments the engagement on the video was just absolutely outstanding so i thought you know what i have to come back and show you guys the progress that has happened in this area because it has changed this doesn't even look like the same place that i was initially standing when we started that video so i'm just going to show you guys what has happened since my last video there has been a lot happening. Uh, you can even see that I'm standing on a big, massive road here, just right here. And people have bought plots in this area. So Julian. Hi. Hi. <laughs> and Godwin, yeah. I have you both here yeah, again with yeah, me yeah. today. So tell me, what's happened since I was last here? Because it looks like a lot has happened. Yeah, a lot has been happening here. We've basically been cutting our roads as you can see uh -huh. uh, and basically doing the layout so right. the front bit is going to be like the equate zone and then the plot zone plots. is going to be at the back and we have a two and a half acres allocated for a play area okay. a park, a park oh like so you've got England, a, car, yeah. a nice park a yes a garden, okay, okay. A garden yeah. you know uh -huh. where people can just say have picnic and stuff like that. Oh, yeah. nice. Yeah. Okay. And tomorrow we will have an electricity connection right here. Right, yes. Okay, so yeah. you're bringing the poles for the yes, electricity yes, and yes. water? Yes, yes. Wow. But we don't want to have poles in the estate. So we're just going to bring it here and then we do our mud cables okay. underground. Oh, yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. oh, to keep, that will keep the nice beauty of the exactly. place. Exactly. Because there's something very beautiful about this area. Like, I don't know if you guys can appreciate on camera, but it's like really serene here really just nice and i don't know there's a nice settled feeling here there, there doesn't feel like any busyness there's just like something really calm about this area and I, every time i come back it just wows me over again so i really really love it you always say that you yeah, always i say know that. it just has that feeling about it i don't know <laughs> The first phase is uh, 75 acres. Yes. yes. Okay. So wow. as you can see there, those are pillars of people who have just purchased, you know? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay, so how many phases have you got? We've got this and we've got the commercial zone at the top. Okay. Once that, that is phase one. Right. You know, once that is completed, then we'll go to the next phase. Right. Yeah. Hey, this is not a small project, you know? No. We need <laughs> to do something to change Africa, you know? How's your stress levels? <laughs> <laughs> I can imagine because me just building the one house, the stress. So I can't imagine doing a project on this scale. This is this is massive, but it's wonderful. It will be wonderful, absolutely wonderful. So this this road you see up there, the road from there, yeah. that is the highway. We're going to call it the Dukuchai Pate Highway, named after Gordon's father, oh, since he's okay. the original That's custodian right. of the land. Yeah. And uh, on next week Monday, we're going to have names like Nyerere Street, mm -hmm. and Chroma Street, Lumumba, Lumumba wow. Street, Rawlings Street, and so on and Would so forth. Mali? You yes. have my yeah, too. Too. Hey, yeah. wow. <laughs> so this is a really nice big road here, isn't it? Right. Yeah, right. It's is a 40 foot road. 40 foot. Yeah. Okay. Is this two way traffic? Yes. Okay. Yes. As you can see, we've not finished. We're doing the grading and like Gordon said, tomorrow the ramping machine will come in and ramp it. You know? Okay. So these are pillars like where people have bought, yes. right? And you yes. put their, their yes. names on. Yes, correct. Right. So that shows that that person has bought it. Mm. I think he bought two acres. What? Two acres? Yes, yes. Wow. Yes. Hey, is that one house or what? like another estate? One house. <laughs> <laughs> he wants a lot of space for his family. Wow. You know? I think people are already seeing the potential of the place already. Right? Yeah, so, yeah. Right. There's definitely a lot of potential right. here. For the, for the acreage, I think we only have about, we'll give or take about 10 left. Whoa. Yeah, but the plots we have quite a few. Yeah, most, yeah. most people are interested in the acreage. Oh, yeah. so they have the space like your house. Right, right, correct. Right, right. Yeah, because when I remember the first time I saw your house, I was so impressed with how you had utilized the land. And it was just like you had so much space that like you didn't have to feel restricted, like, okay, I'm inside a compound. It just felt like there was just space, you that's know? Right. Yeah, so I think that's a really nice way to capture it. And last time that we did a video and we spoke about pricing, I know there was like, people were like, they felt that the price that you were charging per plot was quite a lot because it was $5,000. Correct. Okay, so tell me, how do you justify that? Well, as you can see, we invest in a lot in all these roads. Mm -hmm. This is just one of the roads. There are a lot of access roads. Yeah. Like I said, we bring in electricity mm -hmm. 
to the uh, uh, to the yesti. Yeah. You know, we draw in water in here, mm -hmm. and we're going to have street names like I said, the Pan-Africanist right. uh, street names as well. Okay. So these are things you usually wouldn't get if you go right. buy a plot it's elsewhere. True. It's very you know? true, actually. Yeah. Okay, so basically, in selling the, the plots at those prices, even though it's negotiable, right? Yeah. You have factored in the 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 fact that you're going to put the infrastructure in as part of it correct okay so you're not just buying land you're actually buying into a community that is right okay so you're buying everything the environment everything so that's your access right. to the park and that's all right. those things that's right that's right okay then so you guys can chill a bit and he's still <laughs> open to negotiations so negotiate with him he's open negotiate <laughs> Okay, so here's another road that's being done at the moment. So at the moment, you've just graded it, right? Yes, yes, yes. yes okay, yes. and so what, do you, what are you going to do on here next? We are, we are going to put it in the last side, which is there. Oh, okay. We're going to put it right here. Uh -huh. Then we'll get a ramp to ramp it. Okay. For, for the time being. Ramp it? Yes. That means like put it on and smooth it yes, down? Yes, yes, Oh, okay. Yes. Then okay. it's ready for paving. Right, yes. okay. Oh, how are you going to pave it? What, what's the plans to pave uh, it? Some of the inner roads, we're going to do pavement, yeah, like the, the other bit. Okay. Yeah, but the long stretch, we're going to do asphalt. asphalt. Oh, okay. To be honest with you, I can see that you're investing a lot in here because a lot has changed since the last time that I was Correct. here. So apart from doing the roads, what else have you done? You've done, demarcated the different plots for people. The that lots, have yeah, yeah. And like I told you earlier, we're going to have like a, a fish pond. Okay. Uh, out there, uh -huh. yeah, on one acre. Yeah. You know, just for the estate, people can just, just go. Just one there. acre. Yeah, yeah. Hey. Yeah. Somewhere wow. people can just sit and you know, char and really? enjoy nature. Really? Yeah, yeah. Wow. And what probably, fish are you going to have? Probably go for fishing. Exactly. Yeah, so you bring your rod and yeah, then yeah, you... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. yeah, go for oh wow, that's nice. Yeah, yeah. So it's not like tilapia, so people can go and eat from there? It's catfish. Catfish? Yeah. Okay, yeah. okay. Wow. What we call a dream, you know? A dream. A dream. Catfish or mudfish, yeah, same thing. <laughs> <laughs> it's, okay. got a, it's got a head like a cat. Oh, oh yeah. that one. Oh yeah. gosh, yeah. 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 I know what you're yeah, we're going to get an office. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So at least, right now, when you purchase it, I guess it comes straight to the land, to mm -hmm. the ground, that's the Okay, oh wow. The roads alone, and isn't cheap, you know, because uh, we put over 300 trips of uh, laterals. Three hundred trips? Yeah. Over 300. Trips. Yes, yes, yes. Wow. Mm -hmm. That's um, a lot. Yeah. And it's still not enough. We need oh. to put more. And what's the purpose of putting so much light right, light right down? Yeah, what because you see some bit of the, because it's a virgin land, mm -hmm. some bit of it has a bit of a, um, uh, a thin layer clay. Okay. You understand? So yeah. we put the light right on to solidify the ground. Right. Said so that whether rain or shine, yeah. you can fly the road. Uh -huh. yeah. Okay, so is that the reason why some places that you go to, you see like you've bought a plot of land, but it's like very muddy, muddy. Right. and yes. you're like, right. is right. the foundation even going to be able to sit? Right, right. right. And if you don't put the, Laterite on it, and you even apply um, the asphalt. Yeah. You, you know, in Accra, some places when you drive, you realize the roads sunk. Yes. Yes, that's yes. the reason. We don't right. want to have that. Okay, yeah. okay. So yeah. you're preparing for yeah. that. Because one of the streets is going to be named after Kwame Nkrumah, uh -huh. we want to follow his vision quality. Yes. So the road's going to be really quality, wow. like it did to the motorway. Yeah. yeah. This is going to be gated, right? Correct. Yes, yes. Okay. Correct. Okay. So, um, um, where we came from, mm -hmm. where I said the pole will be. Yeah. That is going to be the main entry point. Oh, okay. The Dukuche Patei driveway. Mm -hmm. That's going to be the main entry point. Right, okay. okay. So the wall is going to go all along here. Wow. To the top. That's going to be a very big wall. Yeah. This, is, this is where the fish farm is. Okay. Where, the, where the gentleman is. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's where the fish farm is. So are they working on it at the moment? Yes. Yeah. You see, we've, we've, we've uh, how do you call it, trenched there a bit. Yeah. Yeah? Okay. So an excavator will come back and make the hole. Oh, then okay. we can put rocks in there uh, and then fence it. Okay, so this is the office space that they're working on at the moment. So they've done the, they're currently doing the foundation. I guess after they've done this, you're gonna wet it. Yes. I'm bringing my knowledge now. Yes. <laughs> so they'll pour water in to make sure everything is settled. Is done, and are you gonna use the roll? What's it called? I can't remember what that thing is called. With a uh, compactor. Aha, uh -huh, yeah. compactor. Uh -huh. And then afterwards, you lay the slab, right? right. I know a thing or two. <laughs> <laughs> How long do you envision this will take for you to do? Oh, by Saturday. Oh, yeah. oh really? Yeah. Wow. Wow. Okay. 
So this is what you're saying is the bridge? Yes, it's a bridge because okay. when it rains, you know, there is water from the other side that passes oh. here. So we want to give it a free flow. Right. So we're going to put those culverts in there right. and cast concrete on it. Ah, uh, so okay. So the water can just uh, exactly. flow through yeah. it and then go. Yes. Right, yes. so it doesn't get the stuck. Pond. Yes, so we'll drop it in a pond. Oh, okay, where the yeah. fishes are going yes. to be. Yes, yes. Okay. Oh, very smart. Well, as it is right now, we're trying to take out the soil. Mm -hmm. So we put iron rods down there and cast the first concrete mm -hmm. before the culverts go in there and then okay. the actual form. Okay. So guys, there you've seen it for yourselves. There is so much development happening here. It's moving very, very fast. As I say, from the last video that I did, up till this one, I can see that a lot has changed. There's a lot happening here. So guys, if you are interested in buying land in Okusi, definitely contact Julian. I'll put all his details into the description box for you. Um, a plot is going for $5,000, but again, I'll say it so many times, it is negotiable. So please don't let the price put you off. Speak to him, you can come to an arrangement. You know, this is Ghana, nothing is set in stone. So definitely speak to him. Don't let that be, um, be a reason to put you off. Um, even if you're, you're thinking about maybe the future, just come down here and have a look. I'm sure Julian will be happy to just take you around to just have a look at the area and see what's happening because it really, really, really is a beautiful area here. So, but guys, anyway, that is it for me for today. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Until next time, guys, if you haven't already subscribed, please hit the subscribe button for me, hit the notification bell. Don't forget to also do me a favor and like, comment and share this video for me. I would really, really appreciate. Until next time, guys, I am out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.